Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Irish Bend located in St. Mary Parish on the 14th of April. 1863, Confederate General Richard Taylor was aware of the fragile supply situation for the Confederate Army. He ordered 1,000 Confederate soldiers to guard Irish Bend and protect the supply trains from the oncoming Union forces. These men watched and waited as Union General Cuvier Grover's 5,000 men crossed the Bayou Tech on the way to attack Fort Bislin. In retaliation for that attack, the men at Irish Bend attacked the Union forces under Grover on April 14th. They filled the air with artillery shells and forced the Union troops to withdraw away from the fighting. The Confederates held the Union troops long enough that the repaired, captured Union gunboat Diana showed up and aided the Confederate forces yet again, anchoring themselves in a Confederate right flank on the river. Union General Grover knew he would win this, and as he planned his counterattack for the next day, Confederate General Taylor ordered the Confederate troops to scuttle the Diana and retreat back into the bayou. Estimated losses were 353 Union casualties, including dead, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates never reported their loss. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Okay.